This is part 66 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss strict mode in JavaScript with examples. Just like Java and C Sharp, JavaScript is also an object oriented programming language. However, JavaScript is not very strict in reporting or throwing errors. Let's understand what we mean by this statement with an example. Notice here we're trying to assign this value to this variable myString, but myString variable is not already declared. If we try to do this in C-sharp, C-sharp compiler would raise an error saying the name myString does not exist in the current context. Let's look at this quickly in action. So within this code behind file here, we are trying to assign a value to this variable myString, but myString variable is not already declared. Look at that, we already have a red squiggly, and when I have the mouse over, it says the name myString does not exist in the current context. Whereas the same code in JavaScript is not going to raise any error. JavaScript in this case is going to automatically create a global variable with name myString. That's the default behavior. This kind of a behavior may lead the developer to make more mistakes. So when we execute this code, it's going to print this is a string to the web page. So I have this exact same code here. Notice that we have a variable. That variable is not already declared, but we are trying to assign a value to that. And we are writing its value to the web page using document.try. So when we run this, it's going to print that this is a string on the web page. Just like Java and C Sharp, if you want JavaScript also to throw an error, then use strict mode. So the obvious next question is how to enable strict mode. To enable strict mode, all you need to do is use this use strict statement. So within this HTML page, at the top of the script section, I'm going to use use strict statement. So let's save the changes. Let's reload the page. And notice that we don't have the output and we get an error. It says variable undefined in strict mode. So basically it says my string is undefined. And if you want to view this error in Google Chrome, then use developer tools. So let's browse this page with Google Chrome. So notice Google Chrome does not display anything. Now when we press F12, it's going to launch the developer tools. And within the console window, we get an uncaught reference error my string is not defined. Now let's discuss how to enforce JavaScript strictness in a specific function. So if you look at the example here, we used the statement use strict at the top of the script section. So all the script in this section, you know, it's going to adhere to JavaScript strictness. Now for some reason, if you want to enforce strictness only within a specific function, then use that statement inside that function. So let's remove that from there. And then let's create a function. Let's name this my function. And inside this function, I'm going to create another variable. So let's call this other string equals this is another string. And then let's use an HTML break there. And let's write the value of this other string to the web page. And then let's call this my function. And now we want to enforce strictness only inside this function. So I'm going to use that statement use strict you know, at the top of this function. So strictness now will be enforced only within this my function. So when we run this, it's going to print both the strings. This is a string and this is another string. Now, notice here we are assigning a value to a variable that's not already declared, but we don't get an error. But if we try to do that inside this function, then it's going to throw an error. Look at this, when I reload the page, you know, it prints the first line without any problem. But then when it calls this function, you know, here inside this function, we're trying to assign a value to a variable that's not already declared. And we are using use strict statement there. So it's going to raise the error, variable undefined in strict mode. Now let's look at another example. 
In C-sharp, if you assign a value to a read-only property, then you get a compiler error. So in the example right here, we have an employee class, which has got this private field underscore name. We have a constructor that takes name parameter. So we are using this constructor to initialize that private field underscore name. And then we have a property here, a public property. But notice this public property has only the get accessor. It lacks set accessor. So this property is a read-only property of this employee object. And within the page load event, we're creating an instance of the employee class. And to the constructor, we are passing mark as the name. So this will be used to initialize this name field. And then we're using the name property to change the name of the employee. But look at this name property. It's a read-only property because it only has got the get accessor. So we're trying to assign a value to a read-only property. So this is a compile time error in C sharp. And it's going to raise this error. Property or indexer demo.employee.name cannot be assigned to. It is read-only. So let's look at this quickly in action. So I have already typed that employee class. So let's copy that and go to the code behind file here. And I'm going to paste that employee class. This is the same class that we have seen on the slide. So employee class with a private field constructor and a public property, a read-only property. So within the page load event, let's create an instance of the employee. And to the constructor, let's pass mark as the name. And I'm going to use the name property of the employee object, which is a read-only property, and then assign it a value. So I'm going to say mark m. And look at this. We have a red squiggly right away under employee.name. And when we hover the mouse over, we get a compiler error saying property or indexer demo.employee.name cannot be assigned to. It is read-only. In JavaScript, if you assign a value to a read-only property, JavaScript silently fails without raising an error. So here we have an employee constructor function. So to the constructor function, we are passing name parameter. We're using that parameter to initialize this private field, uh, underscore name. And then here, we are creating name property on the employee object. Okay, We discussed properties in detail. Uh, in part 58 of this video series. So I'm not going to go into the specifics of properties here. But this is a read-only property because we only have the get accessor. It doesn't have the set accessor. So it's a read-only property. And then here, we are creating an instance of the uh, employee constructor function. We are passing mark as the name for the employee. And then notice here, we are trying to assign a value to this name property, which is a read-only property. Now, JavaScript is not going to raise an error by default. It's going to silently fail. And then the name of the employee would remain mark. It will not be changed to markm. So when we execute this code, it's going to print the name of the employee as mark. You know, this line will silently fail without raising an error. So let's quickly look at that in action. So let's copy that piece of code, go to the HTML page. So we have the employee constructor function. We are creating an employee object. Uh, the name of the employee is Mark. We are changing um, Mark's name to Mark. I'm using the name property, but that property is a read-only property. And then finally, we are writing the name of the employee. So this is going to print Mark because this line will silently fail without an error. So when we run this, Notice that it still says mark, OK? But this line is not throwing an error. So just like C sharp, if we want JavaScript to throw an error, then use strict mode. So I am going to enable strict mode by using use strict. So now, when we reload this page, notice that at that line, we get an error, and it says, Assignment to read-only properties is not allowed in strict mode. So now we know that we cannot change the name of the employee using this property, because that's a read-only property. ECMAScript version 5 introduced strict mode to JavaScript. With strict mode on, it is easier to detect 
JavaScript silent errors as they would through an error now. This makes debugging much easier and the chances of developers making mistakes is reduced. Most modern browsers support strict mode. For the list of most important restrictions that apply in strict mode, please refer to this MSDN article. I'll have the link to this article available both on my blog and in the description of this video. Thank you for listening and have a great day.